Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dean Sullivan Marks, candidates for graduation, faculty, staff, friends, and families of our candidates, those of you viewing our events on our live stream. Welcome. Welcome to the December 2021 valedictory celebration at New York University Rory Myers College of Nursing. My name is Dr. Amy Knowles, and it is my honor to serve as your Assistant Dean for Student Affairs and Admissions, and it is now my 17th academic year at NYU Myers. I am truly pleased to welcome you all and to present our January 2022 Baccalaureate Candidates for Graduation, who will celebrate the honored tradition of pinning. At this time, I would like to introduce to you Dr. Eileen Sullivan Marks, Dean of the Rory Myers College of Nursing and the Erlene Perkins McGriff Professor, who will welcome you this morning. Dr. Sullivan Marks. This afternoon. <laughs> Yes, we all, we all have morning and afternoon on our scripts, depending on when we are doing it. So we just have to remember where we are. So good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations on this wonderful occasion. I already greeted you once, reminding everyone to get masks up today because they trust nurses to do the right thing. And that's why we're able to do this here today in person. So uh, thanks for everyone for joining us. And thank you to family and friends who are joining us on live stream. You're an incredibly special class. You have only known nursing in the middle of this historic uh, worldwide pandemic. So I know that you are not only terrifically well prepared, but you've already shown your independence, your resilience, your dedication, your commitment with your faculty. And I know that our um, 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 are the ones who employ nurses, many of whom are alum of NYU, are waiting with bated breath uh, for you to join uh, as RNs. And, even before you become RNs, I know there's been opportunities for employment between graduation and between uh, getting that official license, which you will all do soon. I wanna take the opportunity to express my deep and heartfelt appreciation to all of the Myers community and our fabulous university for the success of today's event. I'm fortunate to be able to work with such a great team who are intelligent, dedicated, and passionate people. I thank each and every one of you, many of whom are here today. They've been working on this valedictory uh, and pinning celebration for a long time. And uh, thank you to our vendors who came here to enable uh, the live streaming. I know that this morning's event went off very well. And then, not to forget, very special group of our community, our faculty. I ask now that all the faculty in attendance to please stand and join me in thanking them for all their dedicated work while you've been students. And also, all the people who are viewing today or who will be viewing it later on, who are your family, your friends, your support, the teams that have been with you even before you thought about applying to the school. So let's thank them for joining in our celebration of you today. And now it's my distinct pleasure to introduce the president of New York University, Dr. Andrew Hamilton. As you probably know, Andrew Hamilton is the 16th president. He previously served as vice chancellor at, of Oxford University. He also came through Princeton and University of Pittsburgh and went on to become provost at Yale. Two things about Andy and nursing that you should know is that when he was in Pittsburgh as an assistant professor, 
he taught nurses in the evening. He taught chemistry. And he learned all about why nurses need to understand chemistry. And so he feels very connected to nursing. While he was at Yale, he always tells me the first dean that he hired was then the nursing dean at Yale. And he knows that those opportunities set him toward his success. Because once you pick the right nurse, he says, everything else falls into place. <laughs> Throughout his time in academic leadership positions, he's maintained active scholarly work, including an active research lab, which he continues to do. He is a distinguished chemist and a fellow of the Royal Society. His scholarly work lies at the intersection, as I mentioned, of organic and biologic chemistry. He has a PhD from Cambridge, a master's degree from the University of British Columbia, and his undergraduate degree from Exeter. Please help me welcome President Andrew Hamilton, who will speak in a pre-recorded message. Hello, I'm Andrew Hamilton, President of NYU, and I'd like to offer my warmest congratulations to the outstanding Winter Baccalaureate graduates of the Rory Myers College of Nursing. Graduates, you have so many reasons to feel proud today. You have completed a rigorous course of study at one of the most dynamic schools of nursing in the country. Thanks to the leadership of Dean Sullivan Marks, the expertise of NYU Myers' superb faculty, and the continued generosity of the Myers family. The Myers College of Nursing is truly at the vanguard of healthcare education. Because of that education and your hard work, you are now poised to become leaders in your field. I also want to commend you on how well you've coped with the complex and challenging circumstances of the pandemic. I particularly admire how you adapted to changes in our learning formats. You've demonstrated flexibility, understanding and resilience while navigating a shifting education landscape with grace and with determination. You are about to embark on a career where you will make a lasting positive impact on individuals and families, a career whose impact has only deepened since the beginning of the pandemic. The entire world has witnessed the dedication of nurses on the front lines, an effort that has included many NYU Myers alumni, faculty and graduate students, and we salute these heroes. Indeed, nurses are needed now more than ever. Whether providing compassionate care to a patient in distress or helping devise ways to make healthcare more just and efficient or conducting research that affects the well-being of broad segments of the population. Nurses are vital to the health of our society and you too will be continuing this important work. So on behalf of the entire NYU community, let me express how very proud we are of each and every one of you. May the coming year and the new chapter ahead that awaits each one of you be filled with learning, happiness and good health. Congratulations and our very best wishes. Thank you, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, President Hamilton. So every year when we have the um, valedictory award, I mean the valedictory ceremony, we uh, hand out an award for something that is very inspiring, and that is the Myers Humanitarian Award. We continue that with this afternoon's gathering by now presenting our Humanitarian Award recipient. This year, we're honoring one of our own which, uh, for her work, which demonstrates humanitarian efforts throughout her career. Today, we are honoring Dr. Selena Gillis.
Dr. Selena Gillis, as you know, is our clinical associate professor and associate dean of the undergraduate program here at New York University's Rory Myers College of Nursing. Dr. Gillis has a doctorate of nursing practice from Monmouth University, an MS in adult health nursing from Hunter College, CUNY, and a BS with a major in nursing degree from Long Island University. Dr. Gillis is certified as a clinical nurse educator and is also certified in critical care nursing. She has been a nurse educator for 11 years. Dr. Gillis has been an adult nurse practitioner for 11 years, specializing in neurology and pain management. Dr. Gillis is passionate about the management of acute and chronic pain, as well as opioid overdose prevention. She is the program director of the Greater New York City Black Nurses Association Opioid Overdose Prevention Program. She has strong community advocacy and passion for global health currently and in more recent years continuing to work with organizations aimed to serve the underprivileged and underserved in communities in Haiti and Ghana, even throughout the pandemic. Dr. Gillis is currently a member of six professional organizations and associations, including serving as past president and current treasurer of Meyer's Sigma Upsilon chapter, Sigma Theta Tau International being our honor society. She has been Sigma's region 14 coordinator and programming and community service committee chair for the greater New York City Black Nurses Association. Dr. Gillis is a National League for Nursing LEAD alum and an alum of the Penn Wharton Nurse Executive Leader Alum Program. She has received the National Black Nurses Association Under 40 Award and Nurse of the Year Award for Community Service. She also has received the Leota P. Brown Community Service Award from Chai Ada Phi Sorority. In to, and, and, and she received that in 2021. Dr. Gillis is also a fellow of the New York Academy of Medicine. Professor Gillis and colleagues during the pandemic ran four church-based vaccination sites that ran for four months and more than 65 pop-ups in hard hit neighborhoods across New York City. Dr. Gillis co-designed five community events to promote vaccination and gave more than, well, not herself, but distributed more than 28,500 COVID-19 COVID vaccines along with our students. It is indeed an honor and privilege to introduce the recipient of the 2021 Humanitarian Award, Dr. Selena Gillis, a true humanitarian. <laughs> and I read the plaque. New York University Rory Myers College of Nursing presents this humanitarian award to Selena A. Gillis in recognition of outstanding humanitarian efforts on this day, December 16th, 2021. Congratulations, Dr. Gillis. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Eileen. I also want to thank all of my colleagues near and far, my family members who are watching, my friends at home. It's truly an honor to receive this award. I also want to thank the organizations that I've been fortunate enough to work with, the Greater New York City Black Nurses Association, Community Health Network, Amazing Grace Children Foundation, and also Heal Haiti. At the beginning of the pandemic, I felt really guilty not being able to join my fellow nurses at the front line to help out with this pandemic. But then I realized that I was also doing something that's important and that's preparing you guys, preparing the future to go and join those 4 million plus nurses on the front line because our healthcare system really needs you. I believe that through difficulty comes opportunity and I'm glad that we had the opportunity to partner with Community Health Network as well as with my partner, Dr. Johnson at Long Island University, LIU students, as well as NYU students to run a vaccine clinic at a church in Brooklyn, New York, where we were able to offer vaccination and vaccine education to so many people. So for the students here and the students listening who worked alongside me, I do want to thank you for doing that hard work. 
It wasn't easy. We were there most evenings until 10 p.m. We worked throughout the weekend. And I would teach my class virtually during the summer, throw in my scrubs and drive from Long Island to Brooklyn to administer vaccines 10 o'clock at night. And it was a full-time job. And if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. So I do thank you for this honor. A lot of people ask me, how do I have the energy? How do I sleep? How can I do all of these things? And I do it because it's important to me. It's important for my patients. It's important for the community locally and globally. And most importantly for me, it's important for those who are coming behind me, who look like me, who can see that anything is possible. So I will continue to pay it forward. Again, thank you so much for this honor. Thank you, Dr. Gillis. At this time, I would like to introduce our student speaker, Ms. Rosabelle Wu, president of the undergraduate nursing student organization, fondly known as UNSO, who will offer a few remarks. Rosabelle. Hello everyone. It is truly such an honor to be able to be celebrate with you here today. My name is Rosabel Wu and I am the president of the undergraduate nursing student organization here at NYU Myers. And I would like to congratulate you all on your graduation from the NYU Rory Myers College of Nursing on behalf of your fellow classmates and student leaders here at NYU Myers. This group of baccalaureate students sitting here today particularly means a lot to me because we embarked on this journey together 15 months ago. We started together as we bought our very first pair of purple scrubs. When we were put into those awkward breakout rooms in Patho and we virtually met each other for the very first time. When we were frantically running around practicing how to measure manual blood pressures and head to toe assessments on each other. It is truly astonishing that all of this was just a little over a year ago. Since then, I've watched y'all thrive and achieve so much during your time here at NYU Myers. You're able to push through nursing school through one of the most challenging times of the pandemic and navigated your way through multiple sequences of asynchronous work, virtual classmates, and Zoom classes. And yet today, we have the honor of coming here together. In, 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 I did it. And for that, I want you to be all so incredibly proud of yourselves. You have all worked so hard to get here today, and I want to applaud each and every one of you for your hard work. As you sit here today, you will earn the title of Bachelors of Science in Nursing. And I cannot wait to see in the next few months for you all to earn the two letters of RN next to your name. I want to applaud you guys for your resilience, for finishing nursing school during such a challenging time. And I wish everyone here today all the success in the world. And again, congratulations on becoming an NYU Rory Myers College of Nursing graduate. Thank you. Thank you, Rosabelle. I am now honored to introduce to you the keynote speaker of our valedictory celebration, Dr. Selena Gillis, clinical associate professor and associate dean of the undergraduate program, who will now offer congratulatory remarks and speak about the tradition of pinning. Thank you, Dean Knowles. Good afternoon, everyone. It's truly an honor to be here with you today. I do want to take this time to congratulate you on this huge accomplishment. Attending nursing school during a pandemic has not been easy, but in true Myers fashion, you have been resilient and you stepped up to the challenge. We are here to honor you today. You have now laid the foundation for your nursing career, taking the first step to becoming the nurse leader that we hope and expect you to be. You've worked really hard to get here. 
All of the late nights studying, all of the countless hours of clinical, both in person and virtual, all of the blood, sweat, and tears have all led you to this moment. So I do want you to enjoy this moment. I know that this may not be the celebration that you imagine, but nonetheless, this is such a special moment. It has been a tough two years. I commend you for having the courage to go to nursing school with all of the obstacles you may have faced during this pandemic. Not only were we dealing with the public health crisis of COVID, but also the public health crisis of social injustice and systemic racism. COVID and the many social injustices people of color have faced have highlighted healthcare disparities and the impact of structural racism. It reinforces the need to increase diversity in nursing and combat health inequities. There is still so much work to do in nursing to address issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Nurses are resilient and can always weather the storm. Nursing has consistently been rated the most trusted profession. So thank you for joining the 4 million plus nurses on the front line. You should really be proud of yourself for pushing beyond the challenges. You will reap more of that reward when a patient comes back to see you and says, thank you so much for all that you've done for me. It's then that you'll realize that all of the blood, all of the sweat, all of the tears have been worth it. I do want to send a big thank you to those of you who worked on the front line while continuing your nursing education. I can imagine how difficult that might be. I also want to say thank you to your family and friends who are at home watching you, who has supported you through this journey. Those that kept you motivated when you thought you couldn't do it. They may not have realized, but when you started nursing school, they also started nursing school. So I want to say thank you to them for allowing you to practice that head to toe assessment and allowing you to teach them about hypertension or COPD to really solidify how you would communicate that to your patients. I know that your family is so proud of you and I'm going to let you in on a secret. If you didn't know this already, you are now the go-to person for all of your family and friends, and you've probably already experienced this. So really prepare yourself for those, can you tell me what this rash is, text messages, or can you tell me about these medications? Like your patients, they trust you, they depend on you. And that might seem like a huge weight to carry, but believe me, it's the biggest reward. I'm sure if I went around the room and asked each of you why you wanted to become a nurse, the theme would be that you're passionate about helping others. Healthcare needs you now more than ever. I'm a big believer that nursing chooses you. Nursing is a gift, and I really want you to think about what you're going to do with that gift. 2020 was the year of the nurse and midwife, and COVID has certainly proved to us that we need more nurses and other healthcare professionals to keep our ever-changing healthcare system functioning. We need nurses that are not only culturally diverse and aware, but nurses who are committed to advancing the profession and working towards eliminating health disparities and inequities. Before we continue, I would like to acknowledge a few groups of students. First, I would like us to recognize and thank our student leaders, including those who participated on the board of our UNSO and so 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 boards of one of our student interest groups. Could you all please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Next, I would like to recognize those students who have demonstrated outstanding achievement in academics and leadership and were inducted into Sigma Theta Tau International, the Honor Society of Nursing. Could all of those who have been duct inducted please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Last but certainly not least, I'd like to also recognize our Hartford Institute of Geriatric Nursing Scholars on behalf of Dr. McCabe and myself, it really has been such a pleasure working with you over the last two semesters, and we really do look forward to seeing what you go on to do in caring for older adults. So could you please stand and be recognized? Now I have even the greater honor of moving us into the next part of our program, which is the moment our baccalaureate graduates have been waiting for. 
The pinning ceremony is a time-honored nursing tradition that marks the beginning of a wonderful professional nursing journey. The history of the pinning ceremony can be traced back to the Crusades of the 12th century, when a group of knights were honored with a Maltese pin for tending to and caring for the sick and injured. Also, the founder of professional nursing, Florence Nightingale, was honored with the Red Cross pin for her selfless efforts to injured men during the Crimean War. In 1880, nursing graduates at the Bellevue School of Nursing, right across the street here in New York, were the first to receive a nursing pin during graduation. The pin that you will receive today represents so many things. It is a symbol that welcomes you to the profession of nursing. It is a badge of honor and distinction that will serve as a reminder of your great responsibility as a nurse. More specifically, the NYU nursing pin will mark you as a nurse leader and will remind you of the wonderful and challenging times you spent and shared with faculty, staff, and friends. You will be receiving this pin from someone who has been a part of your nursing journey. This is symbolic, as it represents that you did not make this journey alone. And more significantly, it symbolizes that you will not be making this journey alone moving forward. So, here's to no longer completing your daily screener, or an absence form, or your cat me survey. Here's to no longer reading my lengthy emails. Here's to no longer being haunted by my voice at night from hearing it in an online learning module. Here's to no longer being in Zoom waiting rooms and being told, I can't hear you, you're on mute. Here's to no longer completing a PICO project or a group presentation. At least for now, we look forward to seeing you back for your master's and doctoral studies here at Myers. And I'm pretty sure if you don't remember anything else that you've learned in nursing school, you'll probably remember that you defib, vfib, and pulseless VTAC. <laughs> but on a serious note, I want you to remember how you triumphed. Remember how you persevered, how you've been resilient, how you've supported one another. Remember the challenges you have overcome and all that you have learned. Remember to be kind to yourself as you are to others. Remember to take care of yourself because you can't pour from an empty cup. Remember to give yourself grace and know that you will not be an expert nurse on day one. Learning is a lifelong process. We have given you the knowledge, the skills, the attitudes that you need to provide safe and effective care for your patients. You've completed the hard part. You have survived nursing school. So now it's time to prepare for NCLEX and begin the next part of your nursing journey. So you don't get to escape my lengthy emails. I'll be sending you more emails about your NCLEX prep. I like to leave you with one of my favorite quotes and something that I live by, and it's from Dr. Maya Angelou. People may forget what you said, they may forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. I know that you will use your gift to help others, to bless others. Your nursing career can be all that you have hoped and dreamed for. We are excited about everything that we know that you all will accomplish and the nurse leaders that you will become. We look forward to hearing all about your nursing journey. Again, congratulations. Thank you very much, Dr. Gillis. I now January 2022 baccalaureate candidates for graduation and the names of the faculty members giving ribbons with pins to the students. As I call a faculty member's name, that faculty member will come to the front of the classroom in front of the table and will be given a ribbon by academic advisor Talia Gerstel, who will hand then each student a ribbon coming from a designated row of students. I then ask that the graduates proceed one at a time in alphabetical order to the front of the classroom. 
stand next to the faculty member at the table in the center of the front of the classroom and face your classmates as you receive your NYU Myers pin on a purple ribbon handed to you from the faculty member. For safety protocols, we ask that no hugging take place, please. We will now begin. The students will proceed up the row till the very first student is in front. Thank you, Austin. Our first faculty member, Dr. Teresa Bucko. We shall now begin. Jennifer H. Liu. Kevin Ma. Lily May. Malika Makshudova. Craig Menbalman. Adam Marcus. Natalia Marias. Savannah Mazur. <laughs> Anne McCall. <laughs> Kate McKay. Olivia S. Mead. <laughs> Our next faculty member, Dr. Carla Rodriguez. Rebecca Miller Martinez. Mark Mohaber. Victoria Monforti. Jessica Montan Castillo. <laughs> Destiny Morales. <laughs> Cynthia Munoz. <laughs> Kevin Nam. Fiona Ng. <laughs> Ashley, 
Aroda Nayazov. Jennifer Noel. Carla No Gaze. Taylor O'Neill. Casey Oliver. <laughs> Kelly Oosterman. <laughs> Our next faculty member. Dr. Fidel Lim. <laughs> Gila Ornstein. Kelly Palmer. Alex Pierce. Locke Femme. Day Fenn. Diana Fanor. Yolanda Pina. Christina Pinho. <laughs> Vanessa Pinho. <laughs> Taylor Papia. Samantha Posner. <laughs> Nazrin Pretty. <laughs> Irina Palpichuk. Our next faculty member, Dr. Donna McCabe. Dino Radonich. <laughs> Nusrat Rahman. <laughs> F 
Felicia Ram. Amanda Ramlakhan. Victoria Russo. Brianna Rexon. Katarina Robeiru. Amanda Rivas. Joshua Rivera Jensen. Miriam R. Rosek. Caitlin Rocklin. Danitza Rodriguez. Shanette Zamanthia Vargas Rosario. Our next row of students. Patricia Jasmine Ross. Emma Rozak. Muhammad Sadiq. Awais Sadiq. Galit Salamatvad. Dimitri Sanchez. Erica Santana. Alexa Schechter. <laughs> Emily Scott. <laughs> Berina Selimovic. Latoya Shand. <laughs> Liat Shankar. <laughs> Sabrina Schur. Michaela Shekedi. <laughs> Our
our next faculty member, Dr. Mickey Meadows Oliver. Jacqueline S. Sider. Priya Sahoter. Amanda Seinband. Thomas Sit Susan Schlesinger Sherry Spiegler Kayla Squires. Jasmine Aliyah Steinwand. Glenda Stillen. Jody Tam Eric Tan <laughs> Maria Elena Tosua Our next faculty member Dr. Michelle Crespo Fierro Manin Tun Gabriela Tuz Alma Vasquez Jeskarin Burke Jonathan Walsh Michael Wasserman Michael Weber. <laughs> Natalie Worski. <laughs> Dominic Wright. <laughs> Diana Wu.
Brianna Wyckoff. Betsy Yilmaz. <laughs> Faye Yusuf. <laughs> Zeju Zan. <laughs> Karina Zadrowski. <laughs> Michelle Zan. Our last row. <laughs> Ze Yu Zan. Karina Zadrowski. <laughs> Michelle Zahn. <laughs> Hazel Zeng. These are our baccalaureate candidates for graduation. <laughs> Congratulations, each and every one of you. At this time, I would now like to introduce Dr. Kathy O'Neill D'Amico, president of the NYU Rory Myers College of Nursing Alumni Association, who will speak to you in a pre-recorded video. Thank you and good morning to Dean Sullivan Marks, members of the faculty, fellow alumni, family, special guests, and last but never least, today's graduates. As president of the Rory Mars Nursing Alumni Association Board of Directors, it's my great pleasure to be here this morning to congratulate you on your amazing achievement and officially welcome you to the alumni family. The alumni family is large, distinct, and proud. Myers alumni are everywhere and represent the nursing profession in wonderful and innovative ways. We are a global family who strive to impact the lives of patients, families, and communities everywhere. As a new member of the alumni family, we know that your last two years and the adaptations brought by the global pandemic have prepared you to serve the global community. We've all learned important lessons over the last two years. As nurses, we've learned we can adapt to just about anything. We can provide care with compassion at the bedside and wherever it needs to be provided, including virtually. As students, alumni, and practitioners, we've learned to connect even when the connection is not face-to-face. -face. Do we miss our face-to-face -face connections? Of course we do. Oh, yet, Myers alumni all over the world have joined together to help one another and to stay connected to learn, share experiences, and collaborate. The Myers Alumni Organization experienced considerable growth over the last two years out of our adaptation to virtual meetings, presentations, and educational and informational sessions. Our meeting attendance has grown to hundreds, and we've reached many alumni outside of the New York metropolitan area. You are part of that real connection. You already have a connection with NYU Myers. You form relationships with your classmates, and I'm sure you've also connected with a faculty member who, and that faculty member has provided guidance, mentorship, and support. 
It is these connections that will sustain you during critical times in your career. The real connections you make here are important and I implore you to maintain them because as they have sustained me, they will also sustain you. One way to maintain that connection is to be an active member of the alumni family. We want to hear from you. We want to assure you that there is a place for you where you can always seek support and guidance. We want to hear about your accomplishments and achievements and how you will move, how you will move the profession of nursing forward. I ask you to give back to Myers financially, yes, in any amount that you can afford. Every gift goes to support another student or an important program. I also want you to give back your time. A goal of the Alumni Association is to give back to the current student body in a form of mentorship, support, advice, and to give back to the alumni by providing opportunities for networking, career advice, and mentorship. We want to be visible and relevant to you. We are a diverse, energetic group, and we want to increase the engagement of our alumni community. It starts here, and it starts now with each of you. Know that every member of the alumni board is here for you. Janet Griffin, the Director of Alumni Relations, is eager to work with alumni, and I want you to know that we need you and welcome your involvement and participation. It is, Im is important on many levels that you stay connected to one another and to Myers. We want to support you with, in any way that is possible. Well, I just want to say how proud I am of all of you. And I know that what it took, I know that it took a lot of work to get here today. You are a Myers graduate and the nursing profession needs you. And we are proud to have you here. Congratulations again on your graduation and welcome to the alumni family. Thank you very much. Thank you, President O'Neill D'Amico. At this time, I invite Dean Sullivan Marks back to the podium for the recitation of the Nursing Professional Pledge. Thank you, Amy, and thank you, um, our faculty members, for um, our beautiful ribbon and pin uh, ceremony. The um, it's always uh, real when you uh, are uh, greeted by the Alumni Association, isn't it? You're no longer students, <laughs> you're the graduates. And so you've moved on to a new relationship with Myers. And as you enter into the professional world, the pledge is something that we um, speak together. And it not only stems from the time when um, Florence Nightingale developed a nursing in a Western culture, but both the traditions of, of nursing go back millennium. They go back as well into the beginning and growing of the profession around the world. And I want to acknowledge a few other nursing pioneers to think about as we recite the pledge. One is Rafida al Asamaya, who was the first Muslim nurse. Sakahewa, who's been known as a native a nurse for the North American continent. I met Louise Smith, who was the first Hopi RN some years ago in my career. Sojourner Truth is often known as a nurse. And Mary Mahoney, the first professional African-American nurse. So with those in mind, let's, I invite all of our NYU nursing faculty, all nurses viewing today's celebration, and our new graduates to stand now and recite the pledge on the screens in the front of the room and in the back of the program booklet. Read with me. In the full knowledge of responsibilities I am undertaking, I promise to care for my patients with all the knowledge, skills, and understanding I possess without regard to race, color, creed, politics, or social status sparing no effort to conserve meaningful life, to alleviate suffering, and to promote health. I will respect, 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 respect and religious beliefs of the patients under my care 
and hold in professional confidence all personal information entrusted to me. I will refrain from any action which might endanger the quality of life or health. I will endeavor to keep my professional knowledge and skill at the highest level and to give my support and cooperation to members of others, 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 of awareness of my qualifications and limitations. I will do my utmost to maximize the potential of the nursing profession and to uphold and advance its standards. Thank you. You can sit down. And um, now, uh, congratulations again. I hope you enjoyed today's ceremony. Um, it was wonderful to be able to share it with you in person. Uh, you began um, at it, at it, at it, at it, at it, at it, at it in person, but you're ending that way. And so I look forward to having you return um, at some point because many of our alum do return for graduate programs. As you leave the classroom, stop at the various tables outside the classroom to pick up gifts from the faculty, administrators, and staff, along with the NYU Myers Alumni Association. And you can take photos again in the step and repeat um, around different um, areas where the balloons are. Just leave your masks on. We promised Carlos Ciotoli we would do that. <laughs> and uh, so that we would be in person today. Thank you again for coming and congratulations.